where I know I need to replace the condenser fan motor. I had another video planned, but I don't know if I have uh, enough workable video to put something together. But I have no model and serial number on this thing, and I can't read the numbers on the condenser fan motor. So I'm not, I'm not real sure which motor to put on it. But that's where we're headed. Stay tuned. you love this neighborhood a navy flag there a marine flag there and another navy flag here my kind of neighborhood y'all y'all might recognize this one i um i changed an evaporator coil in this just two three weeks ago something like that and when I was charging it up, when I was charging it up, I saw that this was not working. This is going to be 26 inches. I'm measuring from the center of the shaft to the edge here. It's 13 inches. 13 inch three blade, excuse me, 26 inch three blade. That pitch. From experience, that's like 25, 27 degrees. I don't really have a way to tell. But I can get a good idea. All right. We were able to determine that's a quarter horsepower, 825 RPM. So I think I'm gonna go back with a third because the amps match up better. Come back and replace that after lunch. So we'll be back. All right, we are. We are back. And we're fixing to replace that motor.
right, let's see if um, we can get that to turn off easily. Some of y'all may know that I'm a big college football fan. This weekend is I'm actually getting a little bit of rain on me. See what I'm seeing? The plugs in the bottom of this. Y'all have seen me make a video about these capacitors. I um the place that I buy my most of my motors from, I've been doing business with them a long time. And they um they have really helped me out and been a good business partner. So I try to buy from them when I can. And in all honesty, there's not many places in town that, actually there's only one place in town that sells American made capacitors. And um, their supply is limited. Some of them they don't have. So I, I still buy, and I bought this motor from United Refrigeration. I still buy a lot of stuff from them and I try to support them when I can but these capacitors are um, something I may have to start ordering online or something. If you want to cut these shafts off so they don't stick way up like that don't ever cut them off before you put these little nuts on there <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm trying to see if there was no label to help me with rotation. We'll just have to figure it out once we get it wired up. I don't know if you noticed, I said we were gonna go with a third horsepower. <clears throat> After looking at that chart. All right. We are getting close to starting this up. I'm not going to put all the screws in because I'm going to have to take them out for that. All right. This wire came off the bottom. But as you see, there's no, that's the side that don't, don't have the brake. All right, I need to mount me a capacitor up here somewhere. It actually looks like we, we'd be better off over here. Let's check rotation real quick. Oh, I got a cover on this. I got to take off. going the wrong way.
I just heard something in here. job seems like it's never going to end. And y'all see what I see. Lovely. That's burnt. Because of the way this is, we got this stucco around this. I think it's gonna be easier to find um, a square D disconnect and just replace the guts in it but that's something else i'm gonna have to come back and do because i don't have one of those all right i think the rated amp draw on this motor is 2.8 looks like we did good i'm going to i don't carry this kind of disconnect so i'm gonna have to go get her exactly what she needs. <laughs> 